Yeah, that's right. And uh, this view right now of Grand Isle, Louisiana. Look at beautiful this morning. A lot of sunshine, a little bit of a light breeze out there. The Gulf of Mexico looking pretty quiet as we head into tomorrow. That's going to look a little rougher. And as we head into Wednesday night and Thursday, likely all of this will be underwater from the surge from Laura as it continues to move on into parts of the central and eventually north east western part of the Gulf of Mexico. So that's kind of what we're looking at down along the coastline here in town. Some low clouds coming in. Otherwise, not too bad. Warm and humid. 78 slide L 77 Hammond 82 in town and 81 degrees down in the Homa area. And you can see we still have to deal with the, actually Marco. What's left of it? Winds are at 30 moving west at 10 miles per hour. And you can see here we still have some of these showers coming on shore. Some of these could produce tornadoes this morning as well as the early afternoon hours. Most of it just rain right now, which is good news. Heading up toward Picayune back to slide L down I 10 into parts of the East Michoud area as well as into Lake Pontchartrain. The city not dealing with much in the way of rain. A couple showers near Lake Morapa, but you can see there uh, a little bit of some of that rain coming not too far away from the Mishu area and eventually working its way to parts of the North Shore. So today we'll be dealing with again temperatures getting the upper 80s, scattering of showers out there, some thunderstorms mixed in as well and can't rule out maybe a tornado or two. So we need to watch out for that. As you'll see, the rain continues to kind of move through through 9 o'clock this morning, heading on into lunchtime. Still some scattering of showers through 4 o'clock this afternoon. Again, some of these will produce some downpours and can't rule out a tornado or two. By dinner time tonight, the rain kind of drifting its way to the North Shore and then dissipating and that'll be it for Marco. Now tomorrow Tomorrow we'll see outer rain bands from Laura coming in and as Laura gets closer to us, these rain bands have the potential not only for heavy rain and gusty winds, but we are going to be in that zone for the potential for some tornadoes. So we do need to be aware of that and watch out for that during the day tomorrow. Now as we head on into Thursday morning, we'll deal with some showers and rain bands coming in. More of that rain will continue throughout the day as well, too, as Laura continues to work its way farther inland. Right now, you can see winds are at 75 with it, moving west-northwest at 17, and the pressure 991 millibars. It is getting that better circulation with it and expected to continue to blossom and get more of those thunderstorms developing across the area here in the southeastern part of the Gulf. Already strengthened into a hurricane and becoming a major hurricane as we head into 1 a.m. on Thursday. Now, hurricane watches for southwest Louisiana are in effect. Trial Tropical storm watches here for parts of southeast Louisiana, mainly along the coast, Terrebonne, Lafouche, Lower Jefferson, and Plaquemines parishes, because you could see winds 39 miles per hour or greater down there. Now, with the continued moving here to the west northwest at 17, it'll still move over. The really warm waters continue to strengthen this afternoon, overnight into tomorrow, becoming a category one, category two hurricane, all the way to landfall, which is expected to be around 1 a.m. approximately, with winds of 115 miles per hour. That's a category three on the Saffir Simpson wind scale. And with that in mind, also the same strength that Rita was at the same location about for landfall back in 2005. So again, that was pretty devastating to parts of southwest Louisiana and eastern Texas. And we'll see the same thing. Port Arthur area, Lake Charles impacted Johnson's Bayou over towards a Cameron, Louisiana. Significant storm surge there. Now what will happen is when the storm is down here off to our southeast, that puts us in the tornado zone for tomorrow. But once it makes landfall, we're going to see that significant surge coming up even to southeast Louisiana. The storm will continue on its track here through the Midwest and into parts of the Mid-Atlantic states too as we head into the upcoming weekend. Now you'll see here again the spaghetti plots pretty much agreement. Uh, you can see here they all agree about the same location right along the Texas Louisiana border, not over our area, which is wonderful news for us, but not so good for our family and friends on Southwest Louisiana. At the same location uh, Laura is at right now, it was Rita that was a category five. Again, also about a month later too on the calendar back in 2005. Now Rita maxed out right there with 180 mile per hour winds and then weakened as it made its way closer to landfall. Landfall, you can see about the same location and where Laura is expected to make landfall as well too. Both the 115 mile per hour winds, category three hurricane and significant surge there as well too. The surge probably a little higher with Rita because it was a cat five. But as long as this high pressure continues to hold true, which it looks like it will, that keeps it away from us and brings it right off to our west. So we'll be watching for that. Rain totals for us. About three to six inches possible for some of you, so be aware of that. There's your surge levels. We'll talk more about that in a minute. Not much wind, and there's that tornado threat we do need to watch out for as we get into Wednesday. So two to four foot surge in the lake, three to five foot here from Ocean Springs to the mouth of the Mississippi River, the mouth of the river all the way to Morgan City, four to six feet, and seven to 11 feet from Morgan City all the way there into part of Texas with a significant there a surge as well. And you can see here a kind of lower Terrebonne Parish, uh, about three, six feet of rain in, uh, water you can 
agency coming on in and there's the most significant look at that red. That's the top of the scale there across part of Cameron Parish, Calcasieu Parish and Vermilion Parishes all dealing with all of that as it moves on in and rain totals the highest off to our west, but we'll still see about uh, three six inches of rain across our area, so we do need to be prepared for that as we head into tomorrow, Thursday, Friday as well. So we see the wet weather out there. Temperatures in the 80s, but again, weather will be going downhill during the day tomorrow. Finally, the weather does improve, goes back to more typical August weather, hot, humid and rainy for the weekend.